Good morning, everybody. Um, I am here just reviewing the Singer buttonholer. Uh, since I have no way of knowing if this will work, I mean, it, it, the mechanism works. Um, so I want to show you. This comes down, and then it will go back up when it's reached its peak. And then this also, you see, swivels down. And it comes with four templates. I'm assuming somehow, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't sew. So this looks similar in shape to this. Looks like it should slide in. I don't know how you do that. But anyway, somebody who sews will know. Um, I don't have the model number. Um, it does have three patent numbers on the back, which are in the listing. Um, here's the case. With the four templates, just in case you want to know what templates there are. Could be holding them upside down for all I know. Yeah. There you go. And a screw attachment for it. I'm assuming this will help with attaching to the sewing machine itself and a Singer labeled screwdriver which looks awful small for that screw. Anyway, it's here. Um, the case, I guess this is aqua. There are two small cracks in the cover here. One here, I don't know if you can see it, and one up here. Um, but man, I just like the case. I could care less about the part. <laughs> I just like the case. Um, so while I'm here, I will also, you know what, let me review some things while I'm here. I wasn't planning to. It's been a while since I've been here. Sorry, I've been, I've been a slug. I've been really just like not wanting to do videos lately, but I'm here. So let me go grab the Graf Porcelain Creamer and Sugar. These are great. I mean, they're not my style. A friend of mine said, oh, this is Tom. Well, yeah, Tom would sell this, and I am, uh, but I would not use them. They are Graf uh, Tulip Creamer and Sugar. They're graduated uh, deeper, sort of a butter yellow up to cream here. There does not appear to be any cracks or chips, and these are large. These hold, this will hold a cup and a half to the brim so no problem with a full cup of cream or milk and same with the sugar uh, the, a cup and a half of, of uh, sugar now a little clever bit here you see this and you put the cover on and all of a sudden it becomes two leaves you know that separate like the tulips do right and so if you buy this you must have the cover just like this <laughs> a continuum of art <laughs> I'm just joking but uh, yeah these are nice and you see, oops you see the butter yellow and they are marked Groff I think that's upside down Groff porcelain yeah that's not really helpful Tom but whatever and I found this weekend I don't know if any of you collect American Brilliant. I'm about to walk away from the computer yet again because you can tell I was not prepared to... Whatever. Um, a punch bowl base. American Brilliant punch bowl base. Um, let me get it for you. If I can find it. So, 
I'm looking at this and you know I collect and I remember now that I've been told that it's the base and I'm holding it the wrong way that it actually goes this way um, as a base for something uh, for a punch bowl um, this will be listed it's etched with uh, I didn't count the flower petals yet but it's pretty it's very pretty and I can't believe as a base the edge of the base is in such good condition as one I could swear there's a second chip but there is a chip here I don't think it's um, unexpected being a base and uh, it's pretty it's uh, prettier than most of the ones I've seen on online um, it's rather plain you know it's not a lot of cutting um, with hop stars and stuff but it's it's nice and simple it is quite hefty nice edging there it's not marked I don't know what the pattern is you could easily mix and match this with another pattern that's uh, prevalent in the flower range um, but this is American Brilliant as well Man. nice heavy hand cut etched uh, I guess you call these daisies and there you go so short video today um, I hope everybody's having a good weekend but the main reason for this was to show the singer part uh, which is listed will be listed shortly and uh, if you have any questions now I don't very often I don't think I ever have offered a money-back guarantee um, with a mechanical part I feel like I am obligated to do so I mean it's not mechanized electrically but if somebody does collect uh, or has an antique or vintage sewing machine and for some reason this does not work I will accept a return all right, you all have a great Sunday, and this is Tom from 20th Century Rescue. Please like and please subscribe. Thank you.